This town's only on the edge of the desert, but the heat still got my head spinning. Youngsters these days got no stamina, I tell ya. <sighs> Whoa! No comeback from Rita. It's hot. It's so hot. I think she's so hot she didn't even hear him. Well, I think the heat has some sort of stuff. Yeah. Anyway, continuing on, we're not worrying about the desert. Can we stay the night here? Hello, oh, welcome to the Desert Oasis Man Take. What's with this night? Well, um. Will you be staying the night? Yeah, we're going into the desert, so we came into town to gather provisions and get some rest first. Oh, so it's you who wanted provisions for going into the desert. You know, it's... We know it's dangerous. Oh, I see. In that case, I'll get your provisions together before you sit out. Your stay will cost 400 gold. Is that okay? Sure thing, buddy. Have a nice day. This town kind of gives me the creeps. All these knights stick out like sore thumbs. Anyway, time to get some sleep. Sleepy times! Yep. But man, I can't relax with a knight standing out at the entrance. It bothers you? It does. If they were here to protect us, there ain't nothing wrong with that, is there? Alright, everyone, let's get some sleep. Hmm. Sleepy times indeed. Yeah, thanks for the help. Um, I don't know your reasons for going out in the desert, but it would be a really good idea for you to stay in town. Thanks, but we already got put you through put a lot of thought into it. And I see. Well, as promised. Our canteens are this small? Looks like enough to me. Yeah, we should be able to get more water from certain types of cacti growing out in the desert. Right, if we use them to fill up our canteens whenever we need more water, we should be fine. You sure know a lot. Thank you very much. You've been a great help. It's the least I could do. I'm giving that to you, so don't hesitate to use it as much as you like. Go out and turn right where the road forks. You'll take a take a or you'll find a lake at the end of the road you'll be able to fill up your canteens there gotcha by the way what was with the knight who was here he was guarding me all night I was so nervous one lie after another that was uh, that was a su supervisor the knights are here to make sure that the townspeople don't talk freely to visitors from outside of town why would they do something like that I don't understand the reasons, but it's on the magistrate's orders. People other than merchants like myself aren't, al aren't allowed outside their homes. Well, then how are you going to do business if people aren't going to come to your stores? Yeah, I wonder if there's a crooked ma magistrate here too. There's no magistrate in this town until recently, and then finally he arrived. Really? Yes. The Imperial Knights have started to move into Nordopolica of late. Seems they may have already gone into arrest Bellius. The appointment of the new Imperial Magistrate to our town seems to be related to that as well. The Imperial Knights are, go are going to arrest Bellius? They say that Bellius had something to do with engineering the Great War behind the scenes. Bellius did that? That's what they're saying in town. Well, I don't think the Empire will be able to do much so long as Palestrale is there, but... Thank you very much for your business. Wait, but... Yeah, thanks for the help. Let's go fill up at the lake. Hmm... Looks like Bellius has been getting into a little bit of trouble. I wonder if we can help her. But, uh, really nothing we can do right now until we actually see her, so... Off into the desert we go. First, canteen time.
We filled up our water. I think we're ready to go. Right. Stop it. Let go. Bad boys and girls that break curfew must be punished by the magistrate. No way. We're going to look for mommy and daddy. Leave these children to me. I'll see that they're probably disciplined. Stay out of this, stranger. Please, forgive these children. I will go and apologize in person to the magistrate on their behalf. Hey, wait, aren't you... My deepest apologies. Yeah, that's what you get for throwing your title of princess around. Anyway, do you think that maybe I could have handled that better? It worked, didn't it? Yes, it did. Thanks for saving us. Wait, what are your names? My name's Alf. My sister's Layla. What happened to your mom and dad? They got taken into the desert by the magistrate's big wagon. Someone told me they're going to look for Pharaoh. Pharaoh? Yeah. But what do you think they're planning on doing once they find him? And using the town's people to do their dirty work. It's despicable. Despicable me. Hey, big bro, are we gonna go look for mommy and daddy? No, you're not. If you go, if you kids go into the desert, you'll die for sure. Ah, Judith. Well, we'll look for your parents. You kids can can't go out into the desert. Really? I don't lie. You don't mind, do you, Carol? No, nope, fine by me. You're surprisingly agreeable. His guilt is guided by justice, after all. Thanks. Here, take this, because you're so nice. Holy crap, freaking cutscene. Continue. End, please. A glass bead? It's a precious gem. It's our reward for taking the job. Now that we've gotten paid in advance, we've got our work cut out for us, don't we, Carol? Yeah, you're right. Yay, glass marble. But what concerns me is that the Empire is investigating Pharaoh. Hmm. Anyway, I think there's... Let's see. Attachment. Black hand, plain canteen. Let's see. It's supposed... Yep, yeah, there you go. Canteen's on yours back. Stylish canteen. It's actually on his belt. Oh, yeah. Good old barrel dog canteen stuff. Nerdy glasses. I'm sorry. I'm going to have nerdy glasses on you for now. <laughs> uh, adventure canteen. Yay! Wearing it as a backpack. Let's see. Where's yours? On your ass. Good, good. Good, good. And you? I'm going to leave you on your glasses. Why? Because I can. Actually, I think before we head off and look for the parents, there's a few things that we need to do. Um, I'm going to stay at the end of a few times. Hopefully there are some cutscenes that will ensue. If not, then I'll just cut ahead to uh, when we go into the desert. So, yeah. Eh, where are you going? The moon's so pretty. So I thought I'd go out and take a walk. Oh, what's that sound? What strange sounds? So noisy. What the devil's going on? It's nothing, everyone. Go back to sleep. Ah, now we're all awake. Stupid, noisy son of a bastard. You... Nope. One of us is still sound asleep. No more tapioca. What the devil happened? There was some weird noise outside the door. Looked like someone carrying something heavy. This late at night? That's strange. Anyway, you want to go and see what it was? Yeah, good idea. Hey, Estelle, get up. We're going out for a bit. Uh, a party? For me? She's still dreaming. I'm sleeping too. I swear... Repeat's also asleep. We should just let them rest. You're coming, right? Yes. 
Hurry up. He's waiting for us. Yes, sir, but how could such an object like this possibly be used? You ask too many questions. This is a special assignment. That looks heavy. Want some help? Ah, nice of you to offer. Huh? It's you. That's a hope on Blastia, isn't it? What are you going to use it for? Run! You want me to run? No, you idiot! I want you to stop! Yes, I want you to run! Let's go after them. Run, peoples! Run! End of the line, boys! They caught us! Our orders were to eliminate all witnesses, no matter what. But... Enough grumbling! Do it! Yes, sir! I'll just use this... Ugh. Say goodbye! Gah! This wouldn't happen if amateurs would keep their clumsy hands away from Blastia. Eek! Damn it, you just wait! Rita, it's not safe! But, oh no, the core is burnt to a crisp! Too late! Ah, run away from the explosion of death! Did you walk have to do with going after this Blastia by any chance? What could you possibly be talking about? Well, it, had, it ended up destroyed in the end anyway. It's gotta be hard doing it all by yourself, trying to keep all it all a secret from everyone. I know, you can't even go on a nice walk without someone butting in. You still won't tell us your reasons for going around and destroying Blastia? Yeah, I still... I still think that it's something that you're just got just as well off not knowing. Moonlight Talon Base Art. Yay, Gojuth. You are awesome. As well as beautiful. Yay. Anyway, I think there's one more scene that we need to get. And yes, this is taking up a lot of my gold. Trust me, I know. Hey, Estelle. Oh, Yuri. Is that... What... What... Is that what you were going to give us as payment? Yes, it's a memento of my mother. Your mom. She passed away? Yes, when I was still a child. What about your mother, Yuri? It happened when I was a baby. I don't even remember what she looked like. I see... I thought that it was special to never have a father or mother while I was growing up. But you and Carol and even Rita, you all grew up by yourselves too. Well, in my case, everyone in the lower quarter helped raise me. Everyone in the castle helped raise me too. But I still feel lonely sometimes. Whenever that happened, I would look at this memento and think of my mother. It helped bring my spirits up a little. What are you doing trying to give away something so important to you? You should keep it safe. After I started this journey, I completely forgot about the memento of my mother. And I think because I was with you, Yuri. I didn't need it anymore. I had stopped getting lonely. Are you going to get rid of it? We all have to leave our old memories behind. Everyone else is living fier uh, fierce fiercely? Yeah. And not worrying about the past. Should be freely, but eh, whatever. I need to learn how to grow up and move on, too. If you don't want it, let me hold on to it for you. Yuri, time will come when, you'll, when you're going to need it. I'm going to want to reevaluate who you are. You'll need it to remind yourself who you were and how far you've come. You don't want to make any rash decisions now that you'll regret, that you'll regret later. Maybe you're right. But until then, please take care of it for me, Yuri. If I lose sight of where I'm going, I may have to fall back on it. There'd be nothing wrong with that either. Yay, Mother's Memento. Yeah, that little bit right there can trip some people up if they're going for 100%. I know it tripped me up one uh, the first time I played this game because I knew about secret missions but I didn't know about a certain secret mission anyway barrier in an oasis 
Why would someone set up a barrier in a place like this? Actually, they discovered the Blastia at the bottom of the oasis and have just been using it as is. A nice person in town told me that. And with it stuck in the oasis, no one could move it. So I guess they had to leave it where it was. No one would trudge out into a scorching wasteland like this just to set up a barrier. Ah, that explains it. Guess there's a reason for everything. Sorry, ran off to grab a drink. So, anyway, now we can go off into the desert. Yuri, what's the matter? I was just thinking about what the magistrate here could be planning. It's so strange that he'd be looking for Pharaoh. I thought, though I guess I'd make sense if the Empire wanted to eliminate a monster that was trying to kill the princess. But they don't know what that he's after Estelle yet, do they? So why are they going after him then? How should I know? And we still don't know why there's a curfew in town. Anyway, first, we should go to the Sands of Kogor. Actually, we're technically already in the Sands of Kogor, but meh, whatever. If we don't rescue those kids' parents soon, they'll kill, kill over in this heat. That's true. So then, to get to the middle of the desert, we should go through here, right? Yes, I think the parents of those children were probably taken this way, too. Alright, let's go. All right, off into the desert. Yeah, it looks inviting, does it? Sands of Kogor. There's no shade anywhere. I never imagined it would be this hot. Nobody lasts long out here without the proper supplies. What's with him? He looks like he's out for a walk in the park. Hey, old man. Aren't you hot? Hot? Uh, heck yeah. Uh, I'm sizzling over here. Uh, burning right up. That lousy. I feel like the temperature goes up every time somebody says the word hot. We'll be fine, so long as we remember to keep our water well stocked. Right, the cacti. The parents of those children are out there with no supplies whatsoever. We do have Pharaoh to look for, but... Yes. Would it be all right if we took care of Alf and Layla's request first? Um, but... You've more than fulfilled your obligation to me. Estelle! Okay then, let's find their parents. Was that Pharaoh? Then he really is somewhere in the desert! Settle down. You'll get plenty of attention once we're done helping those kids. Alright, so... In this desert, it's going to be pretty interesting. Ooh, hello, dude. I shall want to fight you. Um, Still, these guys right here, the fire spirits, um, and also Mother's Mementos in our, in our uh, inventory. For a reason. It'll be there for the rest of the game. Anyway, fire spirits. There you go. Um, you'll want to fight these fire spirits because they do drop a good item in order to like do some synthesizing. Uh, also, in this desert, for the first little bit while we're in here until we do something, it will turn uh, day to night in like, I think it's like a minute. It'll be a, like a minute daytime and then a minute nighttime or something like that anyway. And then it'll go back to daytime and do that cycle. Um, I am awesome. More like sketchy? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, anyway, there you go. And uh, I don't know if I actually got the item that I want. Yeah, flare stone. There's also another type of stone that I want to get, but it can only be gotten in the nighttime section of this. Ah, here we go. Let's fill up our water here. But this is... Ow! Don't touch it, you nimcompoot! 
Poop, use your head a little. This looks like the situation calls for a little extra help. Therefore, sorcerer's ring for the win and rescue of water. Yay! Canteen filling time. Me next! We need to make sure to keep hydrated. Right, we wouldn't want to get sunstroke. If everyone's finished, let us be off. You lose HP gradually as you walk when the water level uh, when the water level of the canteen reaches zero. Watch your canteen as you advance. So yeah, you don't want that. Anyway, a day in the sun.